Hi there, adventurers. Today we're going to be taking a look at classic accessories, universal fit, spare tire cover. These are available in a few different sizes. You can get it in the small, medium, or large to fit the size tire that you have available at the back of your vehicle or potentially underneath, however you're wanting to protect it. And this is what our spare tire cover looks like here. This one here is the large size. We're gonna actually measure it here and give you some actual measurements because it can be difficult to determine based on tire sizes written on your tire, how big that tire actually is. So this way you can just take a tape measure out and measure your tire and see if these measurements here are gonna fit to determine if it's gonna fit on your tire. So we can see here if we measure, we'll just do from hem to hem. That's roughly where the edge of it's gonna sit. And if you go hem to hem, we can see that it is right at about 31. Now it, you can just kind of squeeze this over slightly larger diameter tires because that's just where the hem is. And you'll see once we get it installed on there that this area just beyond the hem is gonna bulge outward just a little bit beyond where the hem is. Another thing that's important is determining the depth because depending on how wide your tire is, you may have fitment issues. So we're gonna measure this distance here as well to see how wide it can go for a tire width. And when we measure this here, we're gonna stretch it out to see how far it can actually go here. And it's looking like kind of a maximum stretch that I'm gonna be able to get out of it is at about 10 inches there. And that's an absolute kind of a maximum of me stretching the material. So we're gonna get ready to install our tire here. Now, if you got a bunch of dirt and debris on here, you're probably best off to remove that debris because the whole point of our cover here is to protect it from the elements, particularly UV rays and things that are gonna dry rot our tire. But if you leave dirt and debris on here, those other things could potentially uh, cause spots and other things that you wouldn't wanna see on your tire in the long run. So get that all cleaned off of there and then we can get this installed on there. We can see here on the inside, it does have a fabric on the inside. And this cover here is gonna be water resistant. And that fabric that's in there is uh, specifically designed to ensure that when it gets wet, it's not gonna cause mold or mildew to begin forming. When we're putting this on here, we started our top edge up here. Make sure that your bottom down here is where you have a split opening. You can see the tag is down there, you've got your split, and you've got your hooks down here. We wanna put that at the bottom, because uh, where our opening is, we wanna to try to keep that low, so if any moisture does get in there from dew or anything else, it can drain down to the bottom and get out of there. So we're just gonna now work it around our tire. We're gonna to try to keep the hem here a little bit towards kind of the top, in, uh, the top outside edge there, and just kind of peel it around the tire. Now, as you get towards the bottom, your bumper there's a little bit in the way. Some of your vehicles that you're installing them on, like our Jeep here, may have an option to open the door to swing it away. And that can actually make installing it on the bottom portion a little bit easier. So we're just kind of straightening this out some. And then we can come down here onto the bottom and pull it around there as well. And once we get it pulled around, take the two hooks and hook them together. And you can see that it is a elastic cord through the inside hem all the way around that hugs it on our tire here. And really at this point, you just kind of just want to straighten it out to where it sits on there nicely all the way around. And that looks pretty good there. So you can see that here on the hem, it's kind of at the top and bottom, but there is just a little bit here, but we don't really have a whole lot more area there uh, as far as width goes beyond the hem, but we do have just a little bit. And it does fit around our tire nicely, completely covers it all the way up, all the way around. And the main benefit of this, again, is to keep the sun from causing dry rot. The UV rays on our tire really takes a toll on it, causing cracking and that premature drying of the material and cracking that forms is going to reduce the life of your tire. So keeping it covered up here is gonna ensure that when you go to use your spare tire, that the material for your tire isn't too sun damaged. Now you will still need to double check and make sure that it is inflated to the appropriate pressure before you wanna use it, but this will again keep the tire and the rim as well protected from the elements. This cover here is gonna be a universal fit for vans, trucks, SUVs, and even some cars, depending on the size you get. For our Jeep, we did use the large size, but they do have a small, which does cover various ranges of tires. On the side of the box, it will give you exact tire sizes that it'll fit, but that may not have every size that it will fit listed on there. Here's a competitor that we've got here that we did want to show you though, to compare it. This one's from Rampage, and they're pretty similar as far as like the size that they fit and 
Uh, the way that they work is a little bit different here in the back. This is an elastic one. It's got a drawstring. I actually kind of like the elastic because I feel like that's going to hold it on there uh, a little better than the drawstring, but really not a, too much difference. But where there's a big difference is in the material. The material that's on the classic accessories here is fairly thin. You can see it really stretches. If I poke my fingers in it, you can kind of see them uh, poking through it. So this one to me has a little bit higher susceptibility to uh, debris and other things causing little mix in it and stuff over time, especially if you're, you kind of do a lot of work or you're constantly in and out of the back of your Jeep, bumping against it, loading things up. The Rampage one here feels much thicker, doesn't have as much kind of stretch to it. When I push my fingers on the back side, it doesn't really stretch and mold around my finger. This feels like a cover that is going to last quite a bit longer uh, than this one here. But yeah, as far as they go, they are going to be similar. This one's a little bit smoother in its look if you want a little bit more shine. This one has a bit more texture to it, and I believe that's probably because it is a thicker, uh, nicer material. The inside's gonna be similar for both to keep mildew and uh, mold from occurring on the inside. And when you're driving down the road, your cover's likely gonna move. So here we can see where there's a potential wear point on our cover, and we're gonna compare this small little test here to how it looks on the cover with the Rampage. And that completes our look at Classic Accessories Universal Fit Spare Tire Covers.